the European Community for Molecule Research, CERN, is uncovering subtleties of a new atom smasher today, something multiple times bigger and two times as profound. It has found three new particles that could assist us with figuring out how our universe was conceived and what its future looks like. Researchers at CERN have recently revealed discoveries that turn how we interpret the universe on its head. Beneath the surface of their heavy tests lies a universe of particles and forces so strange they could be straight out of sci-fi. From possible passages to different aspects, to particles that challenge the very groundwork of reality, what baffling mysteries are concealed inside these tests? How about we jump into the universe of CERN and disentangle the bits of insight that could rethink our universe? The doorway to new aspects, a wormhole, could hypothetically show up out of the blue in the sky, and the explanation would be the historic examinations conducted at CERN, home of the Huge Hadron Collider, LHC. The LHC is the world's biggest and most powerful atom smasher, found close to Geneva, riding the line between Switzerland and France. There are mysteries about this weird association that the world doesn't know about, mysteries that might actually change how we view physics in the universe. CERN, the European Association for Atomic Research, operates this huge scientific instrument. It extends over 27 kilometers and sits deep underground. The primary capability of the Huge Hadron Collider is to permit physicists to test the forecasts of various speculations of molecule material science. This includes the high-profile examination of the standard model of molecule physics, which assists us with figuring out the basic building blocks of the universe. At its core, the Huge Hadron Collider works by speeding up protons to almost the speed of light before smashing them together. These impacts produce a shower of new particles, which researchers study to acquire insights into the laws of nature. It was through such trials that the Higgs boson, frequently alluded to as the God particle, was found in 2012. This revelation affirmed how particles acquire mass and was a significant moment in molecule physics. The tests led at the Huge Hadron Collider are significant for figuring out peculiarities that happen under outrageous circumstances, comparable to those soon after the Big Bang. The information gathered can fill us in more about how the universe began and evolved, and about the essential constituents of matter. This makes the Huge Hadron Collider a player in potentially revealing new aspects of reality, aspects that could explain secrets surrounding dark matter and the essential forces of nature. Such high-level trial and error at CERN doesn't come without worries. Some conjecture about high-energy tests making dark openings or exotic matter that could present dangers to Earth. However, CERN guarantees that all safety measures are met, and established researchers closely monitor these examinations. Studies and hypothetical models affirm that any hazardous situations are extremely unlikely. Through its continuous examination and disclosures, CERN assists us with understanding the universe better and exhibits the unimaginable ability of human creativity and cooperation in chasing after knowledge. The LHC is humankind's current wonder. The Huge Hadron Collider at CERN isn't just a great piece of technology. It is a wonder of modern science and engineering, arranged underneath the Swiss-French boundary. The Huge Collider goes through a tunnel 27 kilometers in diameter and is as deep as 175 meters underground. This makes it the largest molecule collider on the planet and one of the main instruments in the field of molecule material science. The construction of the Huge Hadron Collider is intended to handle examinations of uncommon scale. The principal ring of the collider, housed in a tunnel with a diameter of 3.8 meters, contains two adjoining parallel beam pipes. Each pipe directs protons in inverse directions, advanced quickly by a progression of superconducting magnets. These magnets are essential for maintaining the path of the protons, bending their direction at speeds near that of light. Encompassing the beam pipes are layers of cooling systems that keep a temperature colder than space, necessary to keep the superconducting magnets at their required working temperature. The size of the Huge Hadron Collider is additionally highlighted by its utilization of thousands of magnets, including 1,232 dipole magnets to bend the beams and 392 quadrupole magnets to focus them. The largest and most powerful superconducting magnets used are 15 meters long and weigh 35 tons each exhibiting the massive physical scale and innovative ambition behind the Huge Hadron Collider. The main role of the enormous Hadron Collider is to investigate the essentials of the universe by noticing the littlest parts of matter. 
By speeding up particles to almost the speed of light and then impacting them, the Enormous Hadron Collider permits physicists to study the resulting particles that are produced during these impacts. This process helps in testing and expanding our comprehension of the standard model of molecule physics, which is the current best depiction of the subatomic world. One of the critical goals behind the Enormous Hadron Collider's tests is to reveal the secrets of the Higgs boson. Its discovery at CERN in 2012 affirmed hypotheses about how particles gain mass. The Enormous Hadron Collider also explores other fundamental particles and forces, seeking to address basic questions like the presence of dark matter and the nature of the universe not long after the Big Bang. Besides, the Huge Hadron Collider looks to confirm the presence of new particles that hypothetical physics predicts but has not yet observed. These analyses are fundamental for potentially finding new physics beyond the standard model, including supersymmetry and aspects beyond the natural three-dimensional aspects. The vision behind the Huge Hadron Collider isn't just to figure out the universe's structure but to encourage global cooperation, with thousands of researchers from over 100 countries cooperating. The Huge Hadron Collider is evidence of worldwide participation in the quest for knowledge. Its design and scale empower it to tackle some of the most serious inquiries in physics. Its motivation stretches beyond simple scientific interest, aiming to develop how we interpret the universe and inspire global collaboration in science through this tremendous and complex contraption. Mankind continues to push the limits of what is known and venture into the quantum domain. Yet, how does the Huge Hadron Collider truly work? At the heart of CERN's research facilities, the Huge Hadron Collider serves as a powerful magnifying lens into the quantum domain, permitting researchers to notice and study the crucial particles that make up everything in the universe. The process of particle acceleration and impact at the Huge Hadron Collider is a key technique for testing the underpinnings of physics. Inside the collider, two high-energy particle beams travel at almost the speed of light before they are made to collide. These beams travel inside tubes kept at ultra-high vacuum, simulating the conditions of space. Superconducting electromagnets, chilled to temperatures colder than space, guide and focus the beams at designated impact points along the tunnel. These beams converge, smashing particles together with gigantic energy. The impacts produce an assortment of subatomic particles, some of which are highly unstable and exist only for parts of a second. To detect and analyze the results of these crashes, the Huge Hadron Collider is equipped with large detectors, ATLAS, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB, each designed for specific types of research. These detectors capture information about the particles, including their mass, charge, and energy. This information helps physicists test predictions of molecule physics theories, including the standard model, and explore particles and forces that govern the universe. One of the most critical discoveries at the Huge Hadron Collider was the discovery of the Higgs boson in 2012. This particle, sometimes referred to as the God particle, is significant because it provides evidence for the Higgs field, which is responsible for giving mass to fundamental particles. The presence of the Higgs boson was predicted by the Standard Model, and its discovery was a fantastic accomplishment, affirming long-established theoretical forecasts. Beyond the Higgs boson, the Enormous Hadron Collider has also been instrumental in finding a range of different particles. For example, the Collider has provided evidence for the presence of pentaquarks and affirmed the existence of tetraquarks, particles made up of four and five quarks, respectively, which had not been seen before. These revelations expand our understanding of hadronic matter, which is matter made of quarks bound together by the strong force, the force that holds the nuclei of atoms together. These discoveries showcase the predictive power of the standard model and also open new avenues of investigation in particle physics, offering insights into the behavior of matter under extreme circumstances like those shortly after the Big Bang. Hypothetical risks, science or science fiction. As the capabilities of the Enormous Hadron Collider grow, so do the hypotheses about its potential dangers. Two of the most talked about hypothetical risks related to the Huge Hadron Collider are the formation of strangelets and the possibility of creating miniature black holes. These scenarios have captured public interest and scientific scrutiny. Strangelets are a hypothetical form of matter that is more stable than ordinary matter. The speculation proposes that strangelets could convert any matter they come into contact with into strange matter. The fear related to this hypothesis is that if strangelets were produced during particle collisions at the Huge Hadron Collider, 
they could potentially trigger a horrific chain reaction, converting all matter on Earth into strange matter. However, broad research and safety evaluations led by CERN and the global academic community have addressed these concerns. Studies have shown that if strangelets could indeed exist and were produced at the Huge Hadron Collider, they would most likely be highly unstable and decay too quickly to cause any transformation of Earth's matter. Moreover, enormous cosmic rays, high-energy particles from space, constantly hit the Earth with energies much higher than those generated by the Huge Hadron Collider without producing any strangelets. This regular examination suggests that strangelets are not a credible threat. The concern that the Huge Hadron Collider could create miniature black holes originates from theories of extra dimensions in physics. According to certain hypothetical models, the high-energy collisions inside the LHC could produce tiny black holes that would vanish instantly due to a process known as Hawking radiation, named after physicist Stephen Hawking. Experts agree that if miniature black holes were ever created at the LHC, they would pose no danger. First, any such black holes would be tiny and fleeting, dissipating before they could interact with surrounding matter. Second, the energies involved in LHC collisions, while massive by human standards, are still significantly lower than the cosmic ray collisions that happen naturally. Since no hazardous miniature black holes have been observed from cosmic ray interactions, it is highly unlikely that the LHC would produce any dangerous effects. CERN, alongside independent panels, conducts thorough safety reviews to ensure that the experiments conducted at the LHC pose no threat to humanity or the planet. These reviews integrate theoretical investigations, experimental data, and safety protocols to address any potential risks. While the LHC's experiments continue to push the boundaries of how we interpret physics, they are conducted with a high level of responsibility and scientific oversight. This ensures that humanity can benefit from significant discoveries without facing unnecessary risks. The hypothetical risks often sound more like sci-fi than conceivable scientific outcomes. The scientific consensus, based on extensive research and regular cosmic events, is that the experiments at the Huge Hadron Collider are safe and that the potential risks are negligible. The weirdest experiment, one of the most intriguing and whimsical investigations proposed at CERN, is the quest for magnetic monopoles. A magnetic monopole is a theoretical particle that is a magnet with only one magnetic pole, either a north pole or a south pole. In contrast, conventional magnets always have both a north and a south pole. The existence of magnetic monopoles was predicted by physicist Paul Dirac in 1931, who demonstrated that their presence would explain why electric charge is quantized, meaning it only comes in discrete amounts. Despite their theoretical significance, magnetic monopoles have never been observed. At the Huge Hadron Collider, scientists have been searching for evidence of these elusive particles. If magnetic monopoles were ever observed, they would alter our understanding of magnetic fields and could lead to significant advancements in technology, including the development of new types of energy storage and transmission. Additionally, the discovery of magnetic monopoles would provide experimental proof for grand unified theories and string theories, which attempt to explain all fundamental forces of nature within a single framework. While the search for magnetic monopoles may seem elusive, it embodies the spirit of investigation and curiosity that drives scientific inquiry at CERN. The mission for such rare and potentially historic particles reflects the institution's commitment to exploring the unknown and expanding the frontiers of human knowledge. Another surprising experiment at the Huge Hadron Collider involves investigating the potential existence of particles that could travel faster than the speed of light. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, the speed of light is the ultimate speed limit in the universe. However, some hypothetical models propose that particles called tachyons could exist, which would always move faster than light. Detecting tachyons would fundamentally challenge our understanding of space-time and causality. While most physicists have serious doubts about the existence of tachyons, the pursuit of such particles at the Huge Hadron Collider demonstrates the facility's openness to exploring even the most speculative aspects of theoretical physics. The Huge Hadron Collider also empowers researchers to conduct experiments that replicate conditions of the early universe shortly after the Big Bang. These high-energy collisions create a state of matter known as quark-gluon plasma, which existed only microseconds after the Big Bang. By studying this plasma, 
physicists aim to better understand how the universe evolved from its initial high-energy state into the complex and structured universe we observe today. In summary, these eclectic experiments at CERN, ranging from searching for magnetic monopoles to creating quark-gluon plasma, highlight the breadth and ambition of the scientific research conducted at the Huge Hadron Collider. They illustrate how CERN is pushing the limits of what we know about the universe and exploring new domains of physics that were previously thought to be merely hypothetical. The Huge Hadron Collider's ultimate design is to push the frontiers of human knowledge, unraveling the mysteries of the universe by colliding particles at remarkable energies. It allows researchers to investigate the fundamental nature of matter and the forces governing the universe. This tireless quest for understanding the obscure reflects mankind's innate curiosity and desire to explore. The discoveries made at the Huge Hadron Collider have extensive implications for our appreciation of the universe. By testing the smallest building blocks of matter and the major forces at play, these analyses enhance our understanding of the universe's beginnings, evolution, and ultimate destiny. They offer insights into the very fabric of reality and help address some of the most significant questions about existence. Additionally, the technological advancements and scientific breakthroughs arising from Huge Hadron Collider research have practical applications beyond particle physics. The development of advanced detectors, computing systems, and data analysis methods has contributed to progress in various fields, including medicine, material science, and information technology. The Huge Hadron Collider experiments also encourage global collaboration and inspire a new generation of scientists. Researchers worldwide work together, sharing knowledge and expertise to unlock the universe's mysteries. This international collaboration is a testament to the power of science to transcend boundaries and unite people in the pursuit of knowledge. In conclusion, the Huge Hadron Collider is a cornerstone of modern physics, enabling groundbreaking discoveries and pushing the limits of what we know about the universe. Its experiments reveal the nature of fundamental particles, forces, and the origins of matter providing invaluable insights into the mysteries of existence. Through its technological innovations and global collaborations, the Huge Hadron Collider embodies the spirit of scientific inquiry and the boundless potential of human curiosity. As we continue to explore the universe through the Huge Hadron Collider, we move closer to answering some of the most significant questions about our universe and our place within it.